welcome. In this video I will show you a CRUD, a CRUD project with Java JDBC. I am connected to dBeaver and I started a small Maven project. The other day I started the beginning of the project using a, a very basic Java setup but I switched to Maven and you can tell it's Maven because I had this uh, file set up which they give you automatically pom.xml of course I only have Postgres dependency in there I don't even think it does anything to be honest I just did it as like a formality but the source code for this is on github so if you click the link uh, the important thing is you have to download oh my mouse just froze for a second yeah download the correct jar file I have 42.20 and you go to this third column 2.20 JDBC42. Download that and you go into your right click down here, module settings, libraries, and you add that correct jar, okay? That's all you gotta do. Um, and so here, CRUD is create, read, update, delete. Okay, so it's like it's like when you persist data to a database and you have the ability to uh, like create a table, create the data schema, update, add, you know, which means like add uh, rows, add information into rows. Um, I got it backwards, create, create, read, update, delete, read, like you can uh, see the information, see the table data, delete get rid of uh, row data so this application the short small one I got here this is the main class this is the oops wrong button this is the connection util class okay it's got the methods in the connection util I have this method here with connect to database and I have create table insert row balance which is like view the information and then delete okay now normally if you're doing like a more normal size project or what they want to see in school they want to see you do a, what's called a, a DAO pattern a DAO bottle or like a they also talk about singleton that's a word that's thrown around a lot and I think I might do that I might expand this out to be a full DAO because normally this connection util.java would be like its own little class and there would only be like maybe 30 lines of code and then this this stuff here would be like interfaces and classes in a DAO layer um, and then I would have like a account service layer I think or a user service layer which would do stuff like um, do some basic math like like add, add stuff and stuff like that. So this doesn't stick to the actual DAO like pat, uh, model, but it does actually do create, read, up, update and stuff. Um, and of course you have to be connected to your database. I got dBeaver here. I already have information in this table. This uh, program only creates one table and you're looking at it right here it's called recovery so I was thinking of this larger project this bank project I would call it where I would have like uh, a user accounts table a um, users no a user table and a accounts table and I want a scheme where if if a user wants to delete their user profile then the money in their account would be transferred into this other recovery account and uh, yeah the money would go in there and then the um, the user can maybe create an account again and then recover their balance hard to explain but this is a recovery table where in the app you can um, you can yeah input your social security number and balance right so 
this would mostly be like from the perspective of like uh, maybe like an admin or an employee they would input the security social security number of the client and the money balance and this ID here is serialized it's it's just automatically generated and so yeah that would be like your update you know you add values to the table and then we have a method here where we can read on the console we can read the, the contents of this table and then we have a, a method to delete to delete a row so we have a method here where we can delete let's say ID number nine and you can delete this okay so I'll show that to you when I run the main method so I'll go into the main method and because uh, I'm a dumbass I'll have to cover up let me just clear all this stuff because I'm a dumbass I have to cover up my password here let's try that all right and then uh, let's run it let's see what happens run the program all right so connection established entering DB information okay so this is this entering DB information is like your uh, it's a sign and you can see it in the program logic that that it's good that we are safely connected I have here enter one or enter the number one to exit the program so we have a way to for the user to just exit if they want to so I pressed one and we exited the program so so you don't have to like you don't have to terminate click here in order to stop the program so we'll try again um, so let's enter a random social security number a lot of social security numbers start with zero please enter the balance you will transfer let's say we're, we're gonna transfer seventy dollars and see it says row inserted so we inserted seventy dollars into the table and I don't have to do this but I could show you it uh, let's update this table here refresh it's been a while since I refreshed it um, but yeah so you see here Social Security four seven eight three zero Zero four. I'm actually. I should fix that. For some reason, I can't start it. I can't start with zero. Hmm. Maybe I should. I could put it in there like last four digits. So we got the social security number four to seven. Oh, that's because this is integer. Okay. And then um, balance is seventy, and our ID number is thirty. Okay. So. I'm going to quickly delete this number f this number four because I just did that before. I'm going to show you how in SQL how to, how to delete a row. So the way you to delete a row is just simply do this. That's it. Delete from recovery. That's the table name where ID equals four. And we'll do control enter. And we just deleted it. And so if we refresh the table. Oh wait, didn't I meant to... Why did I think the number 4? I meant to say ID equals 29. I deleted ID equals 4. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, let's do that again. ID equals 29. I was looking at some other stuff. Alright. Delete from recovery where ID equals 29. Let's try to refresh that again. Alright, so we deleted number 29. Uh, okay, so back to this stuff. Then the program asks us, would you like to continue entering data? And let's say I say yes. And then it says again, please enter another social security number. So we're going to enter another person. Please enter the balance you will transfer. Let's say $88. Row inserted. Let's refresh that. Okay, 
so we got it 88 so we entered another person in there let's go back to this program would you like to continue entering data let's say no let's say we entered two for no and look at that this is our uh, read so we can read all the information we have in the table you see it side by side here ID 1 balance 88 Social Security 65 or I have it backwards balance Social Security aesthetically this is flipped around but yeah Social Security 88 um, I just have this typed in wrong I think uh, let's look at this one Social Security 88 balance 3489 I have this typed in wrong. Let's go ahead and uh, quickly fix that. We can actually quickly fix that. Uh, so we do balance. And do social security. Oh wait. Uh, let's yeah. Maybe that's more correct. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Let's rerun it. I think I might have flipped these around. That's not good. Alright. Let's uh, enter a random social security number. Balance. Would you like to continue entering data? Let's say no. And when, when we click no, it'll show us um, the table before we exit. Before we exit, it's gonna show us the table data. And let's compare that now. So for ID one, balance 88, Social Security 65. Let's say balance, oops. Let's say the balance is 533. Oh, we got it. We got up. We got to refresh this. Let's refresh this. Okay, so let's say the balance is 533. The social security number is 33479. Okay, I just had these um, labels flipped around. All right. So, would you like to delete an entry? Let's say uh, yes. Let's say we would like to delete an entry. Uh, select an account ID. So we could, we, these are our IDs here. We have an ID of 1, 3, 9, 30. So let's select one to delete. Let's delete number 32. See, look at that ID with 32 deleted, and it's gone here. You see that? Delete ID 32. And it prints out the table again, our updated table. Let's update the table. You see that now it matches. It deleted. And there you go. So I put this um, thing here where when you delete an entry, the thread is going to sleep for a couple seconds and then it's going to stop the program. And you could, you could force stop it with if you hit number two. Um, let's run this again. Let's run it from the top again. Please enter social security number. Well, be careful not to enter a um, an incorrect social security number, because I'll show you what happens if I enter like a duplicate social security number. Let's say number thirty-four. Please enter a balance, and let's say we're going to transfer five hundred thirty-three dollars. See, it's going to give us an error. Duplicate key value violates unique constraint recoveries, and I'll show you where I have the unique constraint programmed um, where we create the table you see up here in the connection utility where we create this table the social security has this here not null unique and that's what violates it however even though it throws up this error here or exception 
we can still continue going. Let's say we'd like to continue entering data. Let's enter a different social security number. Please enter balance to transfer. Row insert. Would you like to continue entering data? And let's say we say no. And then it asks us, would you like to delete an entry? Would you like us to delete one of these? And let's say we've had enough and we say no. And it just simply, it ends the program. Process finished. So I hope you liked that. I messed up earlier. I had to, I had the wrong uh, labels here. I had to flip them back around. But that's a good, simple program that shows you create, read, update, and destroy. And I have the source code. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I have the source code up on GitHub. And there you go. So this is like how you, um, like this create table method. You got to type out this string query. And this is tricky because you got to see all these little punctuations here. Okay. And the primary key, you got to declare the primary key in here. This is PostgreSQL. Insert row. So insert this function, insert row, is very similar to this function, delete row. Because all we're doing in these two functions is just um, doing a, uh, a delete or insert. I guess an update. <coughs> I guess it's like an update thing. So aesthetically, it looks similar. But you just got to be mindful of the data you're entering. So yeah, if you liked the video, uh, press like, uh, subscribe, and uh